Hello and welcome to our next video on addition and subtraction with decimals. Before we begin calculating, I want to draw your attention to the chart in the upper right. This is the same chart that we used with addition and subtraction with integers. It'll tell you which operation to use and what sign to put on your answer. Let's start with our first problem. We have 6.32 plus 8.1. A good habit to get into with regards to adding and subtracting of integers is to make sure that both of your decimals have the same number of place values. So for example, I'm going to rewrite this problem to be 6.32 plus 8.10. So just a reminder, you can add as many zeros after the decimal point and keep the value the same. So if we, had, if we needed three place values, we could have added three zeros to make the decimals have the same place value. From here, we take a look at the problem and I can see that I have a positive and a positive. Well, when I have two positives, I'm supposed to add and the answer will be positive. So we know we're going to have a positive answer. When adding decimals mentally, what you wanna do is you want to add the numbers before the decimal point and add the numbers after the decimal point. So here we have six plus eight, the decimal point, and then we have 32 plus 10. Well, six plus eight is 14. So I know we have positive 14. And 32 plus 10 is going to be 42. And that is our final answer. Let's try another example. In this example here, we have negative 3.71 minus 12.5. So again, I'm going to rewrite these decimals so that I have the same number of place values. So rewriting 12.5 as 12.50 allows me to have two place values after the decimal point and two places after the decimal point. I then look at the problem and I can see I have a negative sign and a negative sign. So I am going to add and make the answer negative. So we know we have a negative. And now I'm going to add. So let's add the numbers before the decimal point. So that's 3 plus 12, uh, the decimal point, and then I have 71 plus 50. Twelve plus three is going to be fifteen, negative fifteen. Uh, I have the decimal point, and then I have seventy-one plus fifty. Well, here if I do seven plus five, and then an add a one in the ones place, then I'll get the correct answer. So seven plus five is twelve. It's going to be one twenty-one. So when you do that, you want to put the one here, and then twenty-one after the decimal point. And now to write my final answer, I would simply add one to the ones place. So I have negative 16.21. And that would be my final answer. Let's try another one. In this example, I have 15.85 minus 7.2. So uh, rewriting the problem, we're gonna get 15.85 minus 7.20. I have a negative and a positive, which means I'm going to subtract and make the answer the sign of the larger number. Well, 15.85 is positive, so I know that I'm going to have a positive answer. When subtracting decimals, you have to ensure one thing. There's two ways to subtract decimals. Uh, there is the process of subtracting the larger from the smaller when we examine the decimal point. So for example, 15 is larger than seven. So that means I have to subtract 85 from 20. Well, 85 is greater than 20, so we don't have an issue here. So when you examine the decimals, you start with the larger number. So 15 is larger than seven. If 85 
or if the decimal number, the, the, the number after the decimal is larger in the larger number, then you can simply subtract. So for example, we have 15 minus seven, the decimal point, and then 85 minus 20. Well, 15 minus seven is eight. And 85 minus 20 is just gonna be eight minus two, right? Uh, and then adding a five in the ones place. So eight minus two is six, so it's 0.65. So the next one. The next example's got negative 22.31 plus 15.8. Again, I'm going to rewrite the problem. This time, instead of 0.8, I'm going to write 0.80. I look at the problem and I see I have a negative and a positive. That means I'm going to subtract. 22 is bigger, therefore my answer is going to be negative. And then I have to examine the decimals really quick. So uh, 22 is the larger number, so I need to be doing 31 minus 80. Unfortunately, 31 is smaller than 80. When this happens, all you have to do is subtract one from the number to the left of the decimal point. So instead of 22, I am going to write 21 minus 15. Then you got the decimal point. And then um, after the decimal point, uh, what I can do is I can add a one in front of the 31. So it would be 131 minus 80. Now I can just subtract. 21 minus 15 is going to be six. 131 minus 80 is simply 13 minus eight. So 13 minus eight is going to be five with one in the ones place. So my final answer is negative 6.51. Let's look at a, another one like this. We have fifth, negative 15.9 plus 27.14. So a quick rewrite will give us 15.90 plus 27.14. I examine the problem and I have negative and a positive, which means I'm going to subtract and the answer will be positive this time because 27 is larger than 15. I examine the larger number. The larger number is 27. So that means I need to do 14 minus 90. Well, 14 is smaller than 90. So I need to take, I need to subtract one from 27. So we're gonna do 26 minus 15. The decimal point and then we're going to do 141, 114, 114 minus 90 to get the number after the decimal point. Now we just subtract. So uh, 26 minus 15, well, 15 to 20 is five, 20 to six is 11. And uh, 114 minus 90, is going to be 11 minus 9. Well, 11 minus 9 is 2 with a 4 in the, in the ones place. And that's our final answer. We have one more example in this video, so let's take a look. It's going to be 27.4 minus 34.141. First things first, I have to rewrite my decimals, 27.400, right? They have to have the same um, number of place values, 
0.141. Then I can examine the problem. So I have a negative and a positive. So I am going to subtract. And I'm going to take the sign of the larger number, which is 34. So I know my answer is going to be negative. Once again, we examine uh, the decimals. So uh, 34 needs to go first. So that means 141 minus 400. Well, I don't, uh, that, that's 141 is smaller than 400. So I need to take one away from 34. So it's going to be 33 minus 27, the decimal point. And then I have uh, 1141 minus 400. Well, 33 minus 27 is going to be uh, negative 6. And then 1141 minus 400, well, that's just going to be 11 minus 4. Well, 11 minus 1 and then uh, minus 3 is going to be 7 with 41. 4 in the tens place, 1 in the ones place. And the final answer is going to be negative 6.741. If you have any questions about uh, adding and subtracting decimals, feel free to ask your math teacher, or you could always send us an email.